<laughs> you got girlfriend, boyfriend at home, you got girlfriend, you're married, please. Go work, just work and go home. No flirting and that drink of wine. Okay, go home with your wife, go home to your husband, okay? Adios. You know what's crazy? He don't know their situation, but this is how it start. This is how the workplace shenanigans start. Now this that corporate. We had a long day at the office. Let's just go out for drinks. I'm gonna tell you something right now. It's somebody at your woman's workplace plotting on them cheeks. He's probably at work giving her all types of marital advice, making himself seem like the better candidate. Ladies, please divorce your work husband. The way these things escalate is that sometimes the ladies are so happy that somebody's showing them attention, you know, and it's good to see that they still got it. The difference with somebody showing you attention on the street and you feeling happy that you still got it is that that person you pass on the street, you might never see him again. But this young man right here at your workplace, you gonna see him damn near every day. To be honest with you, you probably gonna spend more time with him than you actually do with your man. You know, you might think you playing the game, you leading him on, you know, he bringing you food at work. He might be doing your work for you. You about to come late, he might clock in for you so you don't get penalized for being tardy. Little shit like that. And he just moving in, slowly but surely, creeping in. Now he your work husband. Now other men at the job gotta know they place because Thomas might have a problem if he see y'all talking together. Imagine that. But you know where he got you? Even if he ain't clapped them cheeks yet, when you start thinking twice about your husband coming to company functions because there's a chance that they might meet each other, Thomas got you. It's only a matter of time before Thomas get them cheeks. So be careful. You might think you're playing the game. Turn the system off. Put the controller down. So I'm about to get railed by two guys, which is something I do quite often, if I'm honest with myself. And while I'm waiting for them to get here, I was just thinking, I'm on pace to hit 365 bodies in 365 days. And last year, I was excited when I hit 300 in a year. But then this leads me to think, what am I going to do next year? 500? 600? I'm an ambitious woman. I need to make sure that I'm always striving for greatness. I need to be chasing bigger and better numbers and always surpassing my limits. So I'm about to get real. This bitch is a super saiyan. What the f This can't be real. How is that possible? This can't be real. I, I call it cap. I call it cap. The way she moving, she about to create a whole new STD. When I say my jaw is on the floor... <laughs> Some guy on TikTok posted a video and it's a song like he's lip syncing a song and it says, what you mean you don't know how to cook? Your mama ain't teach you how to suck, but you could suck <laughs> when I tell you my jaw's on the floor because facts, what's your excuse now? Because she ain't teach you how to, you know what I'm saying? She didn't teach you that, but you figured it out. So why can't you figure out how to cook? Like, you literally cannot make no excuse now. There's no excuse. Yeah, he definitely ate with that. I feel bad now for the people who really just don't know how to cook. But you take initiative to learn the other thing. I don't even feel bad anymore because, like, facts. Like, what the fuck is your excuse? Get your ass in the kitchen and figure it out. The same way you got your ass in that bedroom and figured it out. How many did it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? Well, shorty, by the time you figure that out... You could have learned at least how to make some damn rice and chicken. I have never thought about that. Nobody told you and taught you how to eat candy. Nobody taught you how to eat candy. You learned that all by yourself. You know what, though? I wonder how many young ladies watched the, the Superhead tape. Y'all remember the Superhead tape? I remember the Superhead tape with Mr. Marcus. When I was in high school... It was going around. We had a bootleg DVD. Y'all remember the bootleg DVD? It was all white. And the title or whatever it was, was written in um a Sharpie. We had a bootleg DVD. Superhead tape on. That's when we saw the, the, the double hand movements for the first time. Pause. That was my first time seeing that. Let me ask you ladies. If you do the double hand trick, where you learned it from? Huh? Where you learned that from? Because I hear a lot of people coming down on Corinne Stephens. But before that, I ain't never seen nobody doing the double hand movement. They be saying men only like homebodies because they could cheat on us real easy. Shoot, go ahead. <laughs> but I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be in the house afraid. Like, ooh, got to go to the club. Ooh, I'm so afraid. Got to go to the club. Got to have somebody feed me to 1942. So scared. 
Now I'm gonna be right here in my robe, chilling. Go ahead and act stupid if you want to. Your whole world gonna come crashing down. I'm highly protected. God don't play about me. I wish you would be outside acting like a chicken with your head cut off. But I'm staying house. Cause I don't care. A lot of times, fellas, we have good women. And because our good women is missing 5% of something one of our former freaks had, we go out there looking for that. The freak bitch that you cheat on your woman with ain't even half the woman that you have at home. Just remember that. The freak that you out here looking for can't compare to the woman you have at home. Now, unless your woman is out here cheating and you know your woman is out here cheating and you decide to cheat back, then you just stupid. You honestly stupid. If you cheating back, you stupid. Leave that situation alone. But if you don't have no proof that your woman is doing nothing and you out here doing you and she home waiting for you and she taking care of business, don't be stupid, man. You're going to regret it. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Obviously, put a hole in my face. Took my teeth out. And I only got these four teeth in the front. I got one tooth back there. I pulled up late. So the video shoot was damn near over. I'm thinking the car just exited in the parking lot. And it stopped. Yeah, the nigga hopped out and was shooting at everybody. You know, I went down because, you know, he's still shooting at people. Like, he's shooting. It's hitting cars. It's hitting light poles. It's hitting, you know what I'm saying, probably buildings. I don't know. I know some of us are of hood essence, but have you ever been shot at before? And I ain't talking about them playing Call of Duty. Have you ever heard them bullets wheezing by? You wanna hear the scariest thing about that? Is when they ricochet off the wall and start coming back. A lot of people don't talk about that shit. I ain't never been shot, but I've been shot at before, and that's probably the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And the crazy thing is, I wasn't even the intended target. Be careful who you hang around. Bro, I was awake the whole time, and I got hit. It didn't really feel like, you know, just a gunshot to my face. I know I got shot in the face, but he ain't killed me. I'm like, what the fuck? Obviously, he put holes in my face, fractured my jaw up there, had to get plates inside my mouth, took my teeth out on the side. I only got these four teeth in the front. I got one tooth back there. I got one right there, one right there, the rest of them gone. And then I got a chick tooth in the hunt. The worst pain you you've ever felt? Nah. The worst pain I ever felt was my mama died. Mm. And she on my neck right now. You too hood. I don't know what you went to. But listen, be careful who you hang around, man. You might think you holding it down for people. You might think you're keeping it real. Nobody is worth wasting your life. You might have a friend that likes to start shit. And you might be an innocent bystander to some bullshit that they start. If you notice that you have somebody around you that can't stay out of drama, fire them as a friend. Stay as far away from them as you possibly can because it's only a matter of time before the drama that they start catches up to them. In my situation... That's what happened. I have a, a another situation. It's a guy that I know. Very talented guy too, bro. Like, you see how I make it I make my hoodies? When I was in high school, he used to make hoodies. He was known for making hoodies. His designs are out of this world. From what I heard, he gave somebody a ride home. The person he gave the ride home had beef. Somebody saw his friend in the car, shot at the car, the person who they actually wanted to kill, survive, but my man's get crippled. Crippled for the rest of his life because he was giving somebody a ride home. And his friend walking around this bitch and he's stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. How much does a man have to make, Marie, for you to date him? Man, I'm all for equal rights, honestly, because a man doesn't have to make anything like above and beyond because I'm still working on myself. So as long as he's working on himself and he's trying to progress, like it really doesn't matter. We can build something together. So we're both, you know what I mean? I'm not expecting him to be above and beyond because I'm not above and beyond right now. So but I'm working on myself. So as long as he's working on himself and we can work out together. Can we give Maria a round of applause for being logical? Can we give Maria a round of applause for not being selfish? I agree with her that, you know, somebody shouldn't have to make above and beyond. I can appreciate that. I can also appreciate her saying that as long as he's working on himself. There's a cap to that. You can't be working on yourself forever. Because at some point in time, let's say she is in a relationship with a guy who is working on himself. And let's say they end up having a child. After you have a child, the focus becomes on that child. You have to do what you got to do to make sure that that child is taken care of. It's no longer about you working on yourself. It's about you 
providing and protecting your family. So I can agree with what she's saying, but also I'm going to be realistic. When I had my son, my whole thing was putting food on the table for my wife and my son. The one thing I kept on doing was YouTube and it paid off. I'm not going to lie to you and I'm happy it paid off. Rap dreams and all that. Nah, that shit's cap. That ain't putting food on the table for my family. And somebody going to say, well, damn, you gave up your dreams. I'm going to be honest with you too. My dream was to be creative. My dream was to make money doing something being creative. And doing YouTube videos is a form of creativity. Is that real? Wait, is this a real person or is that AI? I'm confused. Is this a real person or is this AI? Oh my God. I'm, mm. I'm done.